I want to get back on top, you know, and get the jungle rocking again because when on it win the Premier League, the community nice again, you know? True, true. Play sleep up again, everybody feel happy, everybody can enjoy themselves, you know? So true. that one day, you know, get true. the community happy again. Welcome to another episode of Kickstart Fugu Culture. I'm your host, 876 Mission Man. Today, we're in Arnett Garden again, interviewing a man that is the most spectacular. You see, if you ball in the 40 yards or 50 yards, it's about a spotty brother, because they want a kick for fun. You understand? I don't know how you're the interview, you know, so I don't need no more introduction for himself. Welcome to Kickstart. You see me? Tell us a little bit about yourself now. Well, you know, I'm a normal person just like everyone. Shavani Willis, as you all know. If you don't know, you know you know. Well, people know you as any other name, like a nickname? Um, most people call me Delhi because, to be honest, um, Ricardo Kaka is my like, idol. Yeah. But um, since lately, I started to watch Delhi Ali when he was in farm. You know, I like the way he played. Yeah, yeah. So I, I attract the name and I give myself the name now. So people start to call me Delhi, so yeah. Okay, so how early did you start playing football? Take us through that journey. Um, from when I was a kid, like seven years old, six years old, I was, I'm always kicking around, kicking around the ball in my yard with my friends. And which community was that? Um, in Trenchtown. I'm a little, little part from Trenchtown called Egypt. That's okay. where I'm, I'm born and grew up. Yeah, you know, most talents come from that True. area in Trenchtown, like you have Jamil Alwer, Marvin Morgan, me, Ajuma Jansa, you know, a lot. Overall, a lot of talent come from Prima. Okay, so yeah. when I started our football at age six, which primary school was that you attended? Um, Seltamban's primary school, which is like down the road from Prima. Then I'm down. You know, that's where it all started. From. That's where I started my, my career from. Primary school. I started playing primary league. I think around five grade or four grade. Yeah, yeah. but I was once a keeper, yeah. and a player at the same time. You know, because we didn't have any keeper. And one one day in training, um, you know, like I would go in the goal and tell the players to kick some shot after me. And I was saving, and the coach came to me and said, like, hey, we don't have any keeper, so if you can stay in the goal, it's it would be good for us. So, so, so that's how I end up inside goal. So which high school you attend? For all who know? Um, I attend Tivoli Garden High School and then from Tivoli to Jamaica College. Okay. Yeah, make a big transfer, like, you know, like English League transfer. So when I got to Jamaica College, I did win any Manning Cup up there? Yeah, I once win Manning Cup 2016. So how much time you win Manning Cup? For one time, I win, win one time with them. I win Oliver Sheila beat. Um, Carnival College in the final. Yeah. Penalty shootout. I think I scored the last penalty. Yeah, it's it's a bit. It was a joy, you know? Okay, Schoolboy so, football. So, left in from Jamaica College now. Where did that journey take you after winning the Manning Cup and so forth? So, before Jamaica I College, I was playing, playing for Boystown. Boys Boys okay. um, and then I moved from Tivoli to JC. Yeah. And then, but before I moved from Tivoli, I was playing for Boystown on a 17. Yeah. 13, 15, 17, 20, coming straight up to the Premier League, you know? Yeah. And then I was still young, so I went to Jamaica College. And then after I won the Money Cup, I went back to um, Boys Town to play Premier League again that season. And then after that, that season finished, the 2016 season finished, I, I leave from Boys Town to Portmore. Okay. Yeah, so I make a transfer from Boys Town to Portmore. And that's. Like a Chancer King, man, because you always have a So, when you take that Chancer from Boys Club, that, that season Boys Club got relegated, right? No. Oh, the season no, after? The, I think the season after, because we play against them for Wild Man, for Maria Portmore. Okay, so when you go to Portmore now, in that season, did you win the Premier League over there in Portmore? Yeah, I won the Premier League twice with Portmore. My first year in Portmore, I, win, I won the Premier League. The second year, I won the Premier League. So, you know, the lights are Ricardo Morris then? Yeah. I'm a schoolmate, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm a J that man, Cardo man, my yeah. dog man, Cardo, Grandison, Beans, Lynch, all of them man, you know, be a vital man, be experienced man, my player, Sule McCall and all of them I see right now. Yeah, yeah man, I'm a youth, I'm there on all of them and I play and I start with them. True, true. I like to see them from bench, I'm there with them. 
<laughs> I'm up 15 with them, you know. Yeah. But I always have to show them respect because they help me a lot out, you so know. You learn a lot from them because yeah, they were there, you know. Yeah, so, man. from Portmore, where did that journey take you from Portmore? So, from Portmore, I um, actually get a contract overseas. And which in the club was that? 20, 20, 20, 2018, 2019 season. Yeah. Um, in, in America, the USL Championship. I went to Bethlehem Steel that season on loan. Okay. From Portmore. Okay, so yeah. how many teams did you play for over there in the USL? Um, two. Bethlehem Steel and Union Omaha. This yeah. is Shavon Willis, player for Arnett Garden. I hope you guys subscribe to Kickstart Fury Culture. So I left from Bethlehem 2019. The COVID hit. Yeah. You know, no football wasn't playing for like two years. True. And I came back home to play. When I came back, I was going to go back to Portmore and then I decided, nah, I'm going to come to Arnett Garden. So that's where I left from overseas to Arnett Garden. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I actually played the, the, the COVID season up at the UA, UA Mona, up yeah. at Mona. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think I played like four games and after I played four games, I get back a contract like really fast. Yeah. And then I went back overseas for two years yeah. with um, Union Oma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where, you know, but um, now I came back to run it because my aim is to go to Europe. Uh, I think I played too, too many years in America right now. I'm, I'm trying to go back to, try to get myself in Europe. Okay, so, you know what i in the USL. Why is it you come back here to Ghana? I, I mean, I feel like it's a better opportunity to get yourself in Europe from Jamaica. It's kind of difficult from the US to go to, to um, Europe. And why is it so difficult to make the transition from the USL to Europe? I don't, to be honest, I don't really know. Most people said um, the scope more likely to come to Jamaica to watch a league. Because, okay. you know, most European clubs like, um, like maybe Caribbean and African players. Yeah, yeah. You know, because because we, we know a lot of ball away. We, 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 we interview, we come from overseas, we come right at the Jamaica Premier League to get the highlight because them say the league are growing about. Yeah. Most people don't see that because them the outside looking in, but when they're the inside of the league, yeah, you see the development. If you check the stats, um, Jamaica Premier League is the number one league in the Caribbean. Yes. We're on top, so most scout agents, they're going to turn to Jamaica. Once it's a career and they're going to turn to Jamaica and try to find talent to get them out, you know? So, so, the question I'm going to ask, you ever represent Jamaica yet? Yeah, I mean, I'm, um, I think we have nine caps so or ten caps level. at the senior level in two so goals. So, you ever play any major tournament for them? Yeah, I was in the Nation Leagues in 2019. Okay. Yeah, I played the Nations League 2019. Scored two goals, get one assist, okay. start, um, I think, eight games, seven games. Uh, yeah. Okay, so coming back to Arnett now, now that you guys are in the playoffs, what, you, what, what are you guys starts at the season? Because you know you guys are spectacular, man. How much goal has scored so far? Two. Two. <laughs> Remember, I'm just coming um, since January. Oh, so January. We start, we start play February. Oh. I'm start training in January, but yeah, me and two goal, one assist so far. Okay, so how much goal are you plan for finish? Now you call your day in the playoff, now you have no more in the locker for the playoff. Well, my position right now, I play centre back right now for the club, so I'm not really rushing on goal, you know, I'm just rushing on working and defend, defending the, the team and try to make some uh, beautiful pass as usual, you know. So I'm not really focusing on goal right now. So your main focus is to win in the Premier League? Yeah, right? that's the main focus right now, is to win the league, try to get on it. Back on top. Back on top. Get, we're there, we're, get we're the there. jungle. We yeah. need to get this jungle rocking again. So, uh, yeah, that, again. that's the plan, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, all the fans, it's a tough place to play, but... It's a good place to be yeah, as well. And it's <laughs> a good place to be. But yeah. you don't know, the fans, them, them have them time and them cussy and them time and them love you. Yeah. But we all know that as so fans go, so fans work, they want good fear, they want the best fear. Want, no matter them cuss you, yeah. they want good fear. But I just, I just life, you know, but yeah. we want to get back on top, you know, and get the jungle rocking again because when Arnett win the Premier League, the community nice again, you know. True, true. Play sleep up again, everybody feel happy, everybody can enjoy themselves, you know. So true. that one day, you know, get true. the community happy again. True, well, bro. I just hope you save one spectacular them for your play have a more you score one for the interview uh, the Yeah man, <laughs> just watch out, you know, most of the club them are uh, really play 
towards me, them don't really want me get this ball, them don't want to really get, get a freaky car, nothing like that. But I don't want me to play. Uh -huh. You see, it's not uh -huh. about freaky kick alone, not about passing the ball. Yeah. You're a very experienced man, I know this thing. I, I use me in this league, yeah, so. How much years now you're in the league? Um, oh, I'm I'm play play from, How long have you been around? I play ball? from 2014, 2013. Mm. Boy Stone, I start mm. out from here 15. Mm. So you know, so I hold it for years up there. Mm. You can call me a veteran if you know what. Long time in that thing. <laughs> but right. you don't know because I go overseas and never there for a while and I'm yeah. not similar like that. But if you check my stats, yeah. look up, man, I bang on my score, man. All right, all day long. All right, veteran at 26 blessings. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, big up. Blessings. Puts it in the corner from 30 yards out tonight. Pick that out. That's why you don't do that. That's why you don't back off him. That's why you don't leave him with space. He did it with his left foot that time, didn't he? Oh, what a brilliant goal! That was fantastic by Giovanni Willis. What a strike! 